another video tutorial from tutorvid.com. This is the first in a series of basic Photoshop tutorials, Photoshop 101. For this tutorial, I'm going to go over just the basics of the layout of Photoshop and how to find your way around. On the left hand side are all the tools for doing different actions. They're broken up into different categories, selection and moving tools, patching, brushing, uh, color adjustment tools, uh, a few other text boxes, pen tool, and a few 3D flipping tools, and on the bottom, color picker, which is pretty important, and then the quick mask mode on the bottom. Like any other program, you've got your menus up here. Uh, right below the menu, however, there's an important bar, which is often unnoticed. If, for example, I pick the brush tool here, you can see the top. Now the brush settings are up here, the brush size, the mode, opacity, and if I were to click the rubber stamp tool, now these switch to the rubber stamp. So also when you're using a tool like the crop tool, you have your settings here, but when you start using the tool, to finish using this tool, you have to select the check mark to accept the changes or the undo to get rid of it. Other tools like the brush, uh, you just edit and it keeps going. There's no checkbox. Over on the right hand side, you have your uh, bunch of different panels. If panels aren't showing that you want, you can go up to window and select all these different panels to show. You can move these panels uh, a ton of different places. For example, this adjustments tab, I can drag it out into the screen and the layers and have them if I want to place them on a second monitor or somewhere else on the screen, I could put them and place them on the left hand side by, you see this blue bar there. Or I could put the layers inside the adjustment box. Oh, there's above it. Or you can grab this whole box and put it in the side. And you can adjust the sizes of these by grabbing between them and dragging. And you also have a couple boxes here. You can, this little arrow here, you can expand to make this dialog boxes open. Or and you can minimize to make them small. Or you can also click on them. And just that one will pop out while you're using it. And if you mess around here and play with the settings, and when you're done, if you want the workspace to go back to normal, you can go to Window, Workspace, and Basic. And it'll say it'll remove your current workspace settings. And now you'll be like this. Select this Out button, and you'll have where you were. A couple things about getting around the image. To zoom in and zoom out, you can press Control or Command Plus and Minus. Plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. If you're zoomed in a bit, you can press and hold down the space bar and you can grab the image. You can also use, if you want to make the image fit the screen, you can press Control Zero. Or if you want to zoom into 100%, you press Control Alt Zero. All these tools here have shortcuts. If you just hover over them for a second, you can see patch tool, and then in brackets J. So that would be the shortcut. Also, if you click and hold, you will see a bunch of other tools under each of these tools. They're sort of related tools. So if you want to use them, you have to click on them, and then the tool icon will change. So you can go through those and check out what they are. And perhaps the last thing I should say is the layers panel, which is an important panel when working in Photoshop. You should check out some tutorials on layers on how to use them, and it's located down here. All right, that's it for now. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.